Hello everyone! In today's video we're diving into a fundamental concept for database management, database migrations. We'll cover what they are, why they are essential, we'll see the general structure of the database migration file and finish with some useful tips when dealing with them. Be sure to watch the tips in the end, they will save you a lot of time and prevent bugs. If you find this video helpful, please consider clicking the like button. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it means the words to us. So, what exactly are database migrations? Database migrations are a way to manage changes to your database schema over time. As your application evolves, you may need to add new tables, modify existing ones, or delete data. Migrations ensure that these changes are applied consistently across different environments and by multiple team members. There are three main reasons why database migrations are essential. 1. Versioning and tracking changes. Migrations allow you to keep track of changes to your database schema by creating a history of modifications. 2. Database deployment. When deploying your application to a different environments, such as the development, staging and production, migrations ensure that the database schema is always up to date without any manual intervention. 3. Rollbacks and recovery. In case of errors or a need to revert to a previous state, migrations provide a structured way to undo changes and recover data. Now, let's talk about a typical structure of database migration file. This structure is not tied to a specific programming language or framework, make it universally applicable. I would like to mention two characteristics. The first one is file name convention. Migrations files are usually named with a timestamp and a descriptive name, such as you can see here. The timestamp ensures that migrations are applied in the correct order. The second one is up and down methods. A migration file typically contains two methods, up and down. The app method defines the changes you want to apply like creating or altering tables. The down method defines how you reverse those changes. It is very useful when you need to do a rollback. Alright, that's enough theory for now. We've got two practical tips coming up that will make your life a whole lot easier. The first one is using transactions for multiple changes. When you have multiple related changes in a single migration file, consider using transactions. Transactions help you ensure that either all queries in the migration succeeded or none at all, avoiding immigrate states that can lead to a data inconsistencies. The second is relevant if you are managing large databases. If you are dealing with a substantial database, it's crucial to ensure that your migrations don't lock the database for extended periods. There are several strategies and tools available to, to mitigate this issue. Let us know if you'd like us to create a video dedicated to this topic. Thank you for joining us today on Backend Simplified. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more exciting content on backend development. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, keep growing!